Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We're on March 22nd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at our sun. Very quiet sun. We had a CME blast away from the backside the other day. And it's still very active in that region. Northwestern region of the sun. Incoming. Small uh, equatorial sunspot developing in the last few images there. I'm just looking at some plasma jumping away from our sun. We're still very quiet. Solar wind speed is steady at around 400 to 450 kilometers per second. Looking here under a different light, you can really see the heliosphere being affected by the backside eruptions. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. You guys all have a blessed day today. And please reach out to your family members. Make sure everybody's got what they need. We all need to pull together and work together during these times. Let's get to earthquakes last 24 hours as it's been very busy across Indonesia and up into Philippines today. Most recent being this 4.6. 5.1 in Indonesia, 5.0. Papua New Guinea. Moving south into the Canpin, 5.0 there again. 4.9 here in Fiji. No deep earthquakes to talk about today. Most of the earthquakes are shallow and smaller across the United States. You've got 3.0 Texas. Moving north into Washington. South American plate. 4.4 Chile. Sizable here, 5.4 in Croatia as well, the 10 kilometer depth. And there was a 4.6 before that. So that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give a quick switch here to the last seven days. So all of the white rings are the most recent, and darker red are the latest. Earthquakes. Lots of action. West side, ring of fire. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here and look at the most recent disaster alerts. And my map has changed as they have added all of the coronavirus cases because the United States is under a state of emergency. You can see the purples and the dark purples are the lockdown states. Boy, oh boy. I just wanted to uh, have a look at the volcanoes, most recent volcanoes being updated. Kind of confused by uh, this new map that's going on here. Just give me a moment here to figure things out. So most recent volcanic activity, uh, Popo, as well Raventador in Ecuador, Klichevskoy in Russia, Asosan in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, as well Nevado de Ruiz, Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru. And those were all updated in the last four hours. Across the United States, looking at still flooding conditions across the southeast and central into Texas. As well, watching some extreme weather coming across the Mediterranean and into Italy later in the week. 
But boy, oh boy, this is quite a busy map now with all of the coronavirus cases added. Thoughts and prayers to all of my friends and family around the world dealing with this crisis. Across South America, watch for heavy rains and storms from Brazil straight up and across into Peru. They're dealing with some devastating heavy rains this year already. Flash floodings, landslides. Across Africa, Central Africa as well. Watch for heavy downpours. Congo region. And also keeping an eye on the situation across Iran and into Turkey and then into Pakistan as that huge low pressure system is still trying to head across. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base, where we are a cool minus six degrees. And it looks like cold temperatures are going to be moving in again later in the week as this low pressure system moves in over the Rockies, bringing snow to the coastal regions of Canada and the United States. And it splits off one heading into the Hudson Bay and the other low heading straight across the United States states and also watch for flooding conditions, South Carolina, North Carolina into Georgia this week and then straight up into New York and the Atlantic provinces as that nor'easter moves quickly into the Atlantic. Overlooking Europe, Central Europe, cooler temperatures prevailing, high pressure ridge in place. Heavy snow amounts, northern Greece, higher elevations. Watching a low pressure system move in Wednesday to Thursday across Italy and the Mediterranean. And then that'll scoot across again, Iraq, Iran, and into Turkey. And then into Pakistan, watch for extreme weather, northern regions towards Mongolia. As well, five-day forecast showing a lot of rain developing across China and up into Japan. Later in the forecast, they're going to have some intense weather. Across Australia, heavy moisture bands developing Northern Territory. And as well, moisture developing and heading into Sydney and up into Queensland later in the week. But still pretty seasonable, seasonal across Australia. Overlooking South America, watch for heavy rains. East, east coastal regions of Chile. And across Africa, not much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains. Heavier amounts towards Nigeria, Uganda. No cyclones to talk about. No tropical storms yet. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the, no the southern. Much love to y'all. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.